What's going on guys and welcome back. In this video we're gonna be doing side by side visual differences between iOS 11 and iOS 10. So on the left we have an iPhone 5 on iOS 10 and on the right we have an iPhone SE on iOS 11. So we're gonna kick off the visual comparison from the lock screen of both iOS versions. So if I turn on both devices here you can notice in, in iOS 11 you can see a fade effect when you turn on the screen here on the left side. As for iOS 10, the screen turns on straight. And also in the passcode interface, you can notice a bubble effect in iOS 11. So I'm gonna open both devices here. And we're gonna see the home screen. Notice the app store and the iTunes store has now a new fresh icons compared to the old app store icon and the iTunes icon in iOS 10 and also the calculator has a fresh new icon and also in the settings bar you have the new bars instead of the dots dock has no labels in iOS 11 whereas in iOS 10 there is labels and the dock icons now we're gonna see the visual changes in applications so we're gonna open up the camera app we're gonna notice the camera app effects so in iOS 10 you have all the effects as a grid view whereas in iOS 11 you get them as a slide under the camera as you can see you can choose the effect in iOS 10 by tapping within the grid whereas in iOS 11 you can swipe or slide between views so you can choose between the effects now we're gonna see the app store application so you can see a new interface compared to the old interface in iOS 10 so you get the same thing but with a beautiful design and also new sections games apps whereas in iOS 10 you have categories where you can access the games and apps sections all in one place and also the calculator we have a rounded button in iOS 11 whereas in iOS 10 we have square buttons in the settings as well we have a new interface we have a big label with and also there is a, a small change in iPhone storage in iOS 11 as you can see if we go here in iOS 10 in storage manage storage you can see the difference here you can display your capacities on iOS 11 as a statistics you can see the color of each item apps media and if you have other items like photos data they will have their own color in the statistics Siri also has gotten a change in its visual so you can see the blur in iOS 10 is quite transparent but in iOS 11 you can see the blur is a little bit intense the Siri icon has changed in iOS 11 the notification center has completely changed as well so if I open both notification centers you have here in iOS 11 the lock screen mixed with the notification center as for the iOS 10 you have a standalone notification center you can see the notifications banner right after you swipe down but for iOS 11 you have to swipe down and swipe up in order to see the notifications and also the control center has completely changed in iOS 11 a highly customizable control center you can add or remove toggles to your liking you can add applications like note app to quickly access it from the control center whereas in iOS 10 the options in the control center is limited the last thing we're gonna see here is the app switcher so notice in the iOS 11 the app switcher card has gone missing it's not there anymore like in the iOS 10 we have the home screen card that you can go back to the home screen by tapping on it but in iOS 11 you can tap on the empty blur behind the cards to get to the home screen and as usual you can switch applications by swiping up you can see here you have the blur and in iOS 10 you have the home screen card 
So this has been a quick video to show you the visual differences between iOS 11 and iOS 10. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't for new content. Thank you guys for watching. Now we'll catch you in the next one.